Good morning, friends. Mary Mom here. Another story time awaits you. Good morning, Alden. Good morning, Wyatt. I hope you're having a good day. It's a beautiful, sunshiny day today. I was feeling a little magical, so I decided to wear a crown today. Our book today is Tractor Mac, one of my favorite stories. Alden and I have enjoyed Tractor Mac a lot. We even have tractors. Tractor Mac and Tractor Lucy. Let's get on with our story. Tractor Mac builds a barn. Around and around turned Mac, Tractor Mac's big tires. Rolling through the fields was what Tractor Mac liked best. He loved to chat with his friends as he moved around the farm, carrying out his chores. Through the farmyard, down the dirt lanes, across the fields, there were always new things to see and do. Here's our friend Tractor Mac. This book is by Billy Steers and he has great stories and great illustrations. You don't ever stop moving, do you, Tractor Mac? Cluck Carla the chicken. I would never get any work done if I weren't moving, laughed Tractor Mac. I have wheels. I've got to use them. A rolling tractor gathers no rest, said Goat Walter. There's Carla and Goat Walter and Tractor Mac. Mew. See that kitty? <laughs> chugga chugga papa. You could hear Mac rumble across the fields and the woodlots from dawn till dusk. You never still still long enough for us to chat, said Lucy, his tractor friend from next door. Mac blushed a deeper shade of red. Sorry, Lucy, he said with a smile. I have wheels and I have to use them. See, there's Lucy. As he backed Tractor Mac into the shed that night, Farmer Bill said, this old shed is getting to be a tight fit. We are going to need more room. Tomorrow, Mac, we start a different type of work. That shed does look a little bit messy. Early the next morning, Farmer Bill parked Mac next to the old shed. With a leather belt, he connected Mac to a big machine. Mac hoped he would not be sitting still for too long. He wanted to work in the fields. All day, Mac ran the sawmill. It was noisy and dirty work. Dust kept flying into his air cleaner. And tractor Mac gets strapped up. The leather belt spun, flip, flap, whoop. Day after day, Mac just sat and ran his power wheel. Farmer Bill even removed one of his big tires to fix a leak. Boy, did Mac feel silly. I love the smell of wood chips, don't you? Said Carla to cheer him up. There's our friend Carla the chicken trying to cheer Tractor Mac up. Lucy was helping Sibley with the horse handle more wood for Mac to cut and split. Won't you stay and chat? asked Mac. Sorry, Lucy said with a smile. I've got wheels. I've got to use them. Buzz yawn, screamed the blade. Brrrp, said the planing machine. Chop, 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 snapped the shingle splitter. Matt felt so out of place. Everybody on the farm was moving around except for him. How was he supposed to get any work done just sitting there covered in dust? Still, Mac did his best to keep his belt running steady and smooth. Farmer Bill's wife could plant flowers around you, laughed Pete and Paul, the pigs. See Pete and Paul? One day, Farmer Bill came and it finally took off that big belt. Mac's tire had been fixed and was put on the axle. It's time to see what you've been doing all these weeks, said Sibley, his friend. Mac turned the corner and saw all the neighbors gathered. It seemed as half the town was there and Lucy was there too. It was a barn raising. 
axes and hammers flew. By late morning, Tractor Mac and Lucy helped raise the first wall. The people and animals cheered. By midday, the second and third walls were braced into place. It was late afternoon when the final wall was hoisted into position. The rafters were pegged into place and a small evergreen was pasted on top for good luck. It's amazing, said Lucy. You not only raised this barn, but you made it too. Plank, board, and beam. There he is putting the evergreen on top for good luck. Stupendous, squealed Pig. Pete the pig, I thought tractors were only good for field work. I didn't know they could build barns too. Neither did I, left Tractor Mac. Neither did I. And there's our friend, Tractor Mac. Well, Tractor Mac had to sit still for quite a while, and we are all having to do the same thing. I hope you are happy, and I hope you go outside today and get some of that sunshine. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. In the meantime, Mary Mom loves you. And Mary Mom signing out from the land of Whitingham. Bye.